and in today's video it's actually going to span over today and tomorrow because it's already two o'clock we're getting a late start to this video because i've mentioned this before but we are still just not sleeping well with my four month old who's almost five months now i swear just when we think we get it figured out it goes right back down so i'm just rolling with it but i'm really tired so if my energy seems low that is why and i actually think i might need to put him down for a nap here in a minute so i just wanted to get this video started and let you know what we're gonna do so the most exciting thing is i got a coffee bar for our kitchen and I want to get it all organized. So this is it. It's from Ikea and right now it honestly looks really good the way it is and I'm tempted to just kind of leave it clean like that but the whole reason I bought it was to kind of clean up like this part of our kitchen and also all the bottles and everything over there. I was thinking about putting like the coffee stuff on top and then using the drawers to keep like baby bottles and just all the baby things in there if i can get my little one down for a nap then we can work on that but i also just need to like tidy up and clean my house because tomorrow night we are having my in-laws over because it's my father-in-law's birthday so we're gonna have his celebration here that way if liam needs to go to sleep I can just go and put him to sleep and everyone can still hang out whereas like if we go to their house then we have to like leave and it's just kind of stressful like with his sleeping right now I just I don't know like when he's gonna be able to go down we're just not on a schedule yet and if I miss that sweet spot it really makes it really hard to get him to go down at all so yeah um, my husband actually got rained out at work so he came home, but he just took our big dog, our golden retriever, to give him a bath because that is something that is really needed. If you have a golden retriever, you know their hair gets everywhere and it has really been like driving me nuts now with a little baby who's like all over the floor, just having the dog hair everywhere. I, I hate it so much. But also since we're having people over and our dogs are like, those kinds of dogs that are like all over everyone so i just wanted to make sure that they were clean so he's out doing that i also feel like we have entered the grunting stage i've seen a couple of videos of this online which makes me think that it's not just us it seems to happen around five months um your baby will just make like grunting sounds a lot and i don't know i see conflicting things like one it's just a normal thing that they do around this age but then i've also seen it can mean that they're having like tum tummy troubles so i hope that's not what's happening um but yeah it's just like constant grunting the past couple of days and also that's what he's doing like through the night too so it's not that he's like actually waking up he's just like being kind of fussy and like grunting and i don't know I don't know we're trying to figure it out but <laughs> that is what's going on with us i don't think he should be hungry because i just fed him but i'm also kind of wondering is he grunting because it like wasn't enough and he's still hungry so we're gonna try to figure it out i'm gonna <laughs> see if he wants to eat a little bit more and see if he'll go down for a nap and then i'll check back in with you success got him down for a nap we'll see how long he stays asleep because he has been all over the place with his naps today but if you guys watched my last video when i was getting ready for valentine's day th these are the books that i was talking about or they're not books they're board games <laughs> that look like books this is what i got kevin and we had so much fun we played the mystery date one on valentine's day um and then we'll see whenever we have a chance to play the other ones but we said if we like doing that like playing games at night after we put Liam down for bed then we'll get more from the collection because there's like an entire collection of all of the classic like vintage board games around Christmas time we were doing Christmas puzzles at night and it was just like a good thing to do to keep us off of our phones so I think the games are gonna be kind of like our puzzle thing but okay let's figure out the coffee bar so i think the chalkboard i will eventually move to the playroom i don't know like what to put there instead so if you have any ideas let me know i'm definitely gonna keep it for now because i think i'll put like happy birthday grandpa on it for um, my father-in-law i also thought it might be kind of cute to put hooks there and like hang coffee mugs on them but 
feel like that could also look a little like cluttered. So I don't know. We got to figure it out. Hi, Army. Oh, let me see you. How'd it go? It's good. It's <laughs> yeah, we have to take him to PetSmart to give him a bath because he'll clog our shower drain. So one thing that I want to store in the coffee bar is all of my pump stuff because it's just like taking over. But that just reminded me that I actually do need to pump right now. So I'm going to do that and kind of get this started and I'll show you in a little bit. All right, it is later in the day now. It's actually only 4.40. This feels like the longest day ever just because... My baby was up throughout the night and then we got up early and I was so tired this morning and he would not nap and then once I like got myself all ready he started taking like longer naps I'm like oh my gosh of course but I've just been working for the last little bit on getting everything organized in the kitchen so it looks so much better over here so this whole area was just like overflowing with bottles, pump parts, basically any baby thing that needs like washed regularly. And then it was just like piling up there and we would just like keep using it from that area. So it was never like getting put away. It was just getting put like on the drying rack and then on like a towel that we had right here. So over here on the coffee bar, this is how the top looks. And then in these drawers, I have a bunch of baby stuff. So in this first one, we have everything we need for bottles, formula, all that kind of stuff. And then I just put some burp cloths. This is stuff that I'm going to use whenever we start purees. We just like haven't done it yet. And then whenever we do start purees and solids, I'll probably need to get like baby plates and silverware and everything. So I'll put those there. I should probably get more of these organizers. These, I'll link these there. I Ikea but I got them on Amazon and they fit with his hemness dresser in his nursery and then down here this is all my pump stuff so yeah this is the Copang dresser I want to say I might not be saying that right but look it up on their website it's k-o-p-p-a-n-g I think they have a three drawer dresser and then this is the sixth drawer and I believe it was around like three hundred dollars and we had it delivered so there was like a delivery fee with that too kevin put it together for me and it seemed like it was pretty easy he got it done in just like a few hours whereas with the hemness dresser that's in our baby's bedroom that one took both of us like several days of working on it together so i think this one was probably a lot easier to build and it's also a little bit smaller it's a little bit shorter and more narrow so i mean it's actually like perfect for this area and then these drawers i still need to fill i have a few things in this top one just like my coffee and tea stuff and then the other ones are empty but yeah i did like it when it was just clean on the top but i don't think it looks like too cluttered this coffee machine we rarely use unless we have like multiple people over so i put this one over here because it's actually like not plugged in i'll just plug it in when we need to use it and then this stuff I use more often, which is like my Nespresso and then my tea kettle and there's an outlet right there. So that's why I have it separated. Then that really freed up this area and I don't really have a plan. I was thinking I could move the bottle sterilizer and the bottle warmer over here, but I might just leave it open so that when we have like packages and stuff we can just bring them in and have somewhere to put them i don't like when we put the packages here where i'm like doing food prep i mean i i clean it but it just feels kind of yucky all right it is the next day i'm just opening up the shutters and it's snowing outside we have been up for a couple hours but i'm just now starting to film because just having a little bit of a rough morning they actually got better sleep last night um i know he got up a couple times during the night but like nothing too crazy and then i think he probably woke up around six and then we finally like got out of bed at seven and he's on his second nap of the morning i did the like heatless curls last night i mean i curled my hair yesterday but to keep it i did the it's like a silk tube thing that goes over your head and then you like wrap your head around it. I just haven't brushed it out yet, but I feel like I have really fancy hair and then I look horrible. I'm about to put the coffee bar to use. So I've been trying to not drink as much coffee lately because 
I got a clogged duct a couple of weeks ago and ever since then I feel like my supply has really dropped. So instead of coffee, I've been drinking mother's milk tea, but I really need a coffee today because I'm very tired. My last Nespresso pod. I just placed an order for some more and I think they're actually supposed to come today. I think I might have to move my mugs from the cabinet over there into a drawer because that just felt kind of clunky. Like filling up my coffee machine here but then having to get my mug over there i think i gotta move them to here i did fill a drawer with my like stanley cup because that water bottle is huge it's like so hard to find a place to put it and some other water bottles so this is really working out i'm very happy with it this morning i took all of the bottles and everything that were here except for my pump i left that there because i'm probably going to use that in a little bit but i took all the bottles that were on the drying rack and i put everything in here so now today when i'm making bottles i'll just get everything from here and it's just so nice to have that area tidy of course i need to clean all of this up but it just looks so much better and then over here we ended up putting this bowl here as kind of like a catch-all i have my apple watch charging there because i don't wear that all the time um, and then our car key, this charger is for my pump, and I figured we could just kind of put like mail and stuff in there. And then this is our bread basket. We don't have any bread right now, but we did have that on top of the fridge, and I would always like forget about our bread, so now we can have it out on the counter. So even though I was planning on keeping this area like open for packages and stuff, it, it's fine. We still have room to do that, and it's very functional, and also looks way less cluttered than it did before with all the coffee stuff. I'm a girl who loves cream in my coffee, and I just picked this one up. I didn't really look into it too much, and I was noticing it says only four ingredients, so I looked to see what they were, and it's skim milk, cream, sugar, and natural flavor, which I'm wondering if this is actually like a good creamer or if the natural flavor is like kind of like a name that can cover a bunch of different things. <laughs> so, I mean, it tastes pretty good, so I hope it's good, but you just never know. So I really need to hurry up and use the rest of this nap time to get dressed and get ready for the day, but we've made a little bit of progress on the bathroom. I don't think I've shown it on YouTube yet, so let me show you what we've done. Got started on the tile. He got about halfway up, so we still have to do the rest of the top and then do the sides here and then once he gets all the tile laid then he has to like fill in the cracks uh with grout and then the same thing on the floor so i'm very excited for that to be done and also just for all of these tools and stuff to be out of my bathroom so today is friday and like i said we're having my in-laws over for dinner tonight but i don't think my husband has any like work projects to do this weekend i really hope not because if he doesn't then i think he will get this done i don't think we'll actually have the whole bathroom done this weekend because there's just some other little things we need to do like the outlet covers and we need to like paint the ceiling we did the walls but we haven't done the ceiling there's just like little things we need to finish up so it'll probably still be like a couple weeks to get all of those little things done but the the biggest thing is just getting the shower done so that's going to be super exciting if that gets finished all right well i wasted too much time i was able to get on a tank top and some leggings but he's awake um but he's actually been like pretty good laying in his bed for a while as long as I like let him know that I know he's awake. So we're gonna try that and see if he'll just stay in bed for a little bit longer to me get for me to get a little bit more ready. Hi honey. Hi baby. I know you're awake. Hi honey. Oh you're so happy. Then I turn this so it spins and he can watch it. All right, it's a little bit later in the day now. <laughs> I was able to get my makeup done, but I just put my sweatshirt back on because I figured I'm probably gonna get spit up on, and I have. <laughs> so I'm waiting to get dressed until like right before our family comes over. So Liam is laying over here, and I'm gonna make some tacos. These are just from Costco, and you just have to well, I air fry them for like five minutes. 
they just have chicken and cheese in them and then I put like sour cream and salsa on them. So that is what I'm making for lunch. And then it is go time to get my house clean. I have been like tidying up. So I feel like it's pretty like clean on the surface. But now before tonight, I need to vacuum. Just do like a quick mop to get like the dog prints off the floor. Um, clean the bathrooms. Those are really like the main things I need to get done. Oh, and I want to give Liam a bath since he's throwing up a little bit today. I want to make sure he's nice and clean because I know everyone's going to be want to be holding him and snuggling him. So that's what's on the list, but first tacos. All right, we are ring slinging it because <laughs> that is the only way we are going to get our cleaning done. So I'm going to wrap up this video because <laughs> it's just going to be too hard. Uh, to get everything done and video. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked this day in the life video and also seeing my coffee bar using the Ikea Copang dresser. So if you like videos about motherhood, home, decorating, cleaning, and organizing, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye!